Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's one year Bible reading is for September 18th. Hope you all are having a great Sunday. Before we read, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for another day, for all of your blessings, for you being our awesome God who's on the throne. May you have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins. Keep us away from sin and evil and away from the evil one, Lord God. And may we give you all the glory, honor, and praise and worship that you deserve. And may you fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Give us discernment. May we understand what's being read. May we apply it to our daily lives. And may we lift your name high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 14. Through chapter 30, verse 11. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, you scornful men, who rule this people who are in Jerusalem, because you have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with Sheol we are in agreement. When the overflowing scourge passes through, it will not come to us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily, and also I will make justice the measuring line, and righteousness the plummet. The hail will sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters will overflow the hiding place. Your covenant with death will be annulled, and your agreement with Sheol will not, will not stand. When the overflowing scourge passes through, then you will be trampled down by it. As often as it goes out, it will take you, for morning by morning it will pass over, and by day and by night it will be a terror just to understand the report. For the bed is too short to stretch out on, and the covering so narrow that one cannot wrap himself in it. For the Lord will rise up as at Mount Perizim, he will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring it to pass his act. Bring to pass his act, his unusual act. Now therefore, do not be mockers, lest your bonds be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a destruction determined even upon the whole earth. Give ear and hear my voice. Listen and hear my speech. Does the plowman keep plowing all day to sow? Does he keep turning his soil and breaking the clods? When he has leveled its surface, does he not sow the black cumin and scatter the cumin? Plant the wheat in rows, the barley in the appointed place, and the spelt in its place? For he instructs him right judgment. His God teaches him. For the black cumin is not threshed with a threshing sledge, nor is a car wheel rolled over the cumin. But the black cumin is beaten out with a stick, and the cumin with a rod. Bread flour must be ground, therefore he does not thresh it forever. Break it with his car wheel, or crush it with his horsemen. This also comes from the Lord of hosts who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance. Woe to Ariel, to Ariel, the city where David dwelt. Add year to year. Let feasts come around, yet I will distress Ariel. There shall be heaviness and sorrow, and it shall be to me as Ariel. I will encamp against you all around. I will lay siege against you with a mound. I will raise siege works against you. You shall be brought down, 
you shall speak out of the ground. Your speech shall be low, out of the dust. Your voice shall be like a medium's out of the ground, and your speech shall whisper out of the dust. Moreover, the multitude of your foes shall be like fine dust, and the multitude of the terrible ones like chaff that passes away. Yes, it shall be in an instant, suddenly. You will be punished by the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. The multitude of all the nations who fight against Ariel, even all who fight against her and her fortress and distress her, shall be as a dream of a night vision. It shall even be as when a hungry man dreams, and look, he eats. But he awakes, and his soul is still empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreams, and look, he drinks. But he awakes, and indeed he is faint, and his soul still craves. So the multitude of all the nations shall be, who fight against Mount Zion. Pause and wonder. Blind yourselves and be blind. They are drunk, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with an intoxicating drink. For the Lord has poured out on you the spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, namely, the prophets, and he has covered your heads, namely, the seers. The whole vision has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one who is literate saying, Read this, please. And he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. Then the book is delivered to one who is literate, saying, Read this, please. And he says, I am not literate. Therefore the Lord said, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandment of men. Therefore, behold, I will again do a marvelous work among this people, a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hidden. Woe to those who seek deep to hide their counsel far from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. They say, Who sees us? And who knows us? Surely you have things turned around. Shall the potter be esteemed as the clay? For shall the thing made say of him who made it, He did not make me. Or shall the thing formed say of him who formed it, He has no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while, till Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be esteemed as a forest? In that day the deaf shall hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The humble also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to nothing, the scornful one is consumed, and all who watch for iniquity are cut off, who make a man an offender by a word, and lay a snare for him who reproves in the gate, and turn aside the just by empty words. Therefore, thus says the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not know, shall not now be ashamed, nor shall his face now grow pale. But when he sees his children, the work of my hands in his midst, they will hollow my name and hollow the Holy One of Jacob and fear the God of Israel. 
These also who erred in spirit will come to understanding, and those who complained will learn dark doctrine. Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, who take counsel but not of me, and who devise plans but not of my spirit, that, may, that they may add sin to sin, who walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked of my advice, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore the strength of Pharaoh shall be your shame, and trust in the shadow of Egypt shall be your humiliation. For his princes were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanes. They were all ashamed of a people who could not benefit them, or be help, or benefit, but a shame and also a reproach. The Burden Against the Beasts of the South Through a land of trouble and anguish, from which came the lioness and lion, the viper and fiery flying serpent, they will carry their riches on the backs of young donkeys, and their treasures on the humps of camels, to a people who shall not profit, for the Egyptians shall help in vain end to no purpose. Therefore I have called her Rahab him Shebeth. Now go, write it before them on a tablet, and note it on a scroll, that it may be for a time to come, forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children who will not hear the law of the Lord who says to the seers, Do not see, and to the prophets, Do not prophesy to us right things. Speak to us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Get out of the way. Turn aside from the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to seize from before us. The book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 23, through, verse, through chapter 4, verse 31. But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Therefore the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is master of all but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the Father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under, under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then an heir 
of God through Christ. But then, indeed, when you did not know God, you served those which by nature are not gods. But now, after you have known God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you turn again to the weak and beggarly elements, to which you desire again to be in bondage? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid for you, lest I have labored for you in vain. Brethren, I urge you to become like me, for I became like you. You have not injured me at all. You know that because of physical infirmity, I preached the gospel to you at the first. And my trial, which was in my flesh, you did not despise or reject, but you received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. What then was the blessing you enjoyed? For I bear you witness that, if possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and given them to me. Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They zealously court you, but for no good. Yes, they want to exclude you, that you may be zealous for them. But it is good to be zealous in a thing always, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. I would like to be present with you now and to change my tone, for I have doubts about you. Tell me, you who desire to be under the law, do you not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born according to the flesh, and he of the free woman through promise, which things are symbolic. For these are the two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which gives birth to bondage, which is Hagar. For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and corresponds to Jerusalem, which is which now is, and is in bondage with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice! O barren, you who do not bear, break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For the desolate has many more children than she who has a husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are children of promise. But as he who was born according to the flesh then persecuted him who was born according to the Spirit. Even so it is now. Nevertheless, what does the Scripture say? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So, then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. The Book of Psalm, chapter 62, verses 1 through 12. To the chief musician, to Jedithon, a psalm of David. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. 
I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall and a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Surely men of low degree are a vapor. Men of high degree are a lie. If they are weighed on the scales, they are altogether lighter than a vapor. Do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. Also to you, O Lord, belongs mercy, for you render to each one according to his work. The Book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verses 19 through 21. Hear, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Do not mix with wine by bibbers, or with gluttonous eaters of meat. For the drunkard and the glutton will come to poverty, and drowsiness will clothe a man with rags. All right, guys, may God bless you all. Hope you all have a blessed Sunday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.